So here's an interesting question about Perashat Balak. Um, we know that um, Moab, they send a delegation to Midian. It says, It is Krolo. So we know that uh, Balak sends a delegation to Bil'am, right? With the following, with the message being whatever the message is. That's not the subject of this video. Uh, I'm in a hotel lobby, so excuse the uh, noise. And um, the request is what the request is. And the Pasuk says, So apparently what happened is that Zikne Mo'ab, the political representatives from Moab, they first went to the political class of Midian, whoever they are, and then together the political representatives of Moab and the political representatives of Midian, together they formed a joint delegation, and this joint delegation goes with magic, um, and they go to Bil'am, who himself lived in Midian. And um, and together they deliver the message and the request of Balak. We need you to curse the Jewish people. All right? Okay. Simple until now. And what is what happens here? The next pasuk says, So Bilam tells them, I cannot give you an answer right now. But rather than give you the answer right now. I need to sleep on it, as they say. And of course, when he sleeps, Hashem appears in the dream, and um, Hashem says what he says. But interesting, it says, The um, elders, rather, the political class of Moab, they ended up sleeping in Bil'am's um, residence. And the question that's asked by many is, what happened to Zikne Midian? We know that it says, they form a joint delegation and they go to uh, Bil'am and, but then when it comes time to sleep it says they're the ones who sleep with Bil'am what happened to Zikne Midian? where did they go? alright, so um, I'm going to tell you what the Bil'am and Ambozek says and then I'm going to tell you what I believe as an alternative explanation. The Bila Ben Abuzak says, Lonis Keruzik Midian. Why why was the delegation from Midian not mentioned? That's the people who sleep in Bilam's house. Um, because they're all the Atam is leaky, Shilakotosh Balak and Osim. At this point they're actually all doing the Shalikhut of um, they're all doing the Shalikhut of Balak. And if they're all doing the Shalikhut of Balak, then they all by default, becomes so to speak, Sare Moab. That's his explanation. I, I think it's a good explanation. I think I have a simpler explanation. Um, where are they? Where is Bil'am? Bil'am is in Midian, right? And obviously, Bil'am was a very rich person. He has a huge house, and it's so big that he can have Sare Moab sleep by him. Sare Moab don't have to go to the palace of uh, whoever the king of Midian is, right? But why would Zikne Midian sleep in Bil'am's house? They live in Midian. They have their own sleeping arrangements. They don't need Bil'am to host them. It's Sare Mu'ab that they came from a long distance. They need to be hosted. They need to be given sleeping arrangements. I think that's a Peshat, right? Again, imagine you have a foreign delegation, the king of Saudi Arabia, or the, not the king, the ministers come to visit the... Uh, you know, um, uh, Israel for some reason, and together a delegation from Saudi Arabia and from Israel go to visit the Prime Minister of Israel. Who needs to be put up in a hotel? Well, the delegation from Saudi Arabia, not the delegation from Israel. The delegation from Israel could just go home to their wives and kids. I think that's a Peshat. Again, not that Ibn Abin Abuzeg's explanation is not um, valid. I think it's a great explanation, but I like mine, Bikfifut uh, Rosh, only because of its simplicity.